Good morning and welcome to Morning Moments. We are continuing with our special guests that we have every, every day. And I have a wonderful special guest from St. Louis, Missouri, actor, writer, director, producer, Ted Jordan. Welcome to Morning Moments, Ted. Thank you. Thank you, Andy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. What do you do? And uh, uh, your, your motivation. What's as they ask actors, what's your motivation? <laughs> well, um, really, um, like we were talking before, yeah, you know, we got started. Um, I really caught the bug for being on stage in high school playing Curly McLean uh, in Oklahoma. So um, that was a lot of fun. Uh, my second on you know, on stage gig, I got fired from because I didn't show up for a rehearsal. So you, you you learn about integrity and character pretty quickly when you get regulated from, you know, a supporting role to an extra. So, uh, so I, I learned, you know, my lessons pretty quickly. Uh, professionally, I started out as an extra on a TV series uh, that was shot here years ago uh, in St. Louis in 1983. Um, so then just three years later, I started um, in radio broadcasting for 10 years at a Christian radio station here called KSIV. Um, then I went to Magic 108, which is no longer in existence, uh, which was really for me the, the crown jewel in my broadcasting career because Magic 108 at the time was the place to be here in St. Louis. So, um, and that, that was a lot of fun. Uh, but it didn't go past, you know, working part time. So then I worked for other radio stations. Uh, I said I would never work for, you know, a country station, end up working for two country stations and really end up enjoying the music because from a kid, I've always enjoyed music. Didn't matter what it was. Uh, if it was Parliament Funkadelic, if it was uh, Foreigner, because uh, my very first album was Boston, actually. Um, and um, I just I, I just like music, whether it's Casey and the Sunshine Band, uh, could be, you know, um, Glenn Campbell, whatever, Barry Manilow. I like all kinds of music. So, you know, when I got into radio, that was just a natural thing for me. So when I heard this great country music, meaning the arrangements were good, the vocals were good, Lyrically, it was good. I just enjoyed it. It was just whatever I like, I like. And that, that's you know, that's the bottom line. I've never want, been one to fall into stereotypes. Yeah, it's it's uh, when you get tone and when you get uh, great harmonies, it really doesn't matter what kind of music when when it's good music, is it? Right. I, I have all kinds of music. My wife's the same way. So you know, whatever we like that's what we like and we've raised our son that way and uh he he just enjoys all types of music just like we do uh tell us about your industry that you're in now acting industry and uh, uh these changing times that we're in with the with covid and and everything that's been going on how uh, how it's affected you and and uh, what's your thoughts with this well um overall the business has changed a lot. Um, you know, we have this <clears throat> supposed cancel culture and uh, there's really on Christianity in and of itself, the gospel really. Uh, but that's been around since the beginning. So that's really no different except for here in America where that is now becoming more and more prevalent. Um, and I've, you know, I've discovered over the years that really I'm not a person that you can really just push into a corner and I'm not going to come out and fight in some way. You know, I'm not going to throw a Molotov cocktail, uh, but I will create something like the sinister truth. Uh, I'll create things like uh, biblically correct, not politically correct with Ted and Crystal um, to counter the culture, to let people know that there is a God bigger than their circumstances who loves them, cares about them, um, and wants them to know him in a very personal way. So um, we fight against it. As a matter of fact, 
we had a chance to uh, do a, um, a, a Christian film um, several months back. It wasn't the greatest of films, um, and I can get into more detail about why and why the genre really needs to change. Um, but the clips that I found in it that I was acting in, and it's not an ego thing, but I did some very good work in it because I always try to do good work in it in whatever I'm doing. Um, but what I found is, is that uh, instead of shrinking back in these times, um, I decided that if what those clips were saying was going to offend someone, it was going to offend those who are offending the gospel. Um, so my light, my salt was going to be saltier. It was going to be brighter. Um, and I'm just going to let the chips fall where they may uh, and let God do the rest. Um, with COVID, actually, we have been prospering. We we're doing better than we were this time last year um, in a lot of different ways. Uh, it's amazing how God has done things in the last 12 months than he's done in the last 12 years because <laughs> we stopped violating God's word. It's amazing when you stop in certain areas, stop violating his word, how he begins to really move in your life. So um, that's when um, we just decided that we're just going to keep trusting God. And that's where we are right now. You know, I've, I, I don't know how many people I've interviewed through uh, in, in different walks of life have said the same thing. When everything is stopped, then God says, now maybe it's time for you to listen to me. Uh, now that I've caused th there's th cause to stop and reflect and uh then we could actually hear what God's telling us when we stopped right. all the other noise. So, yeah, absolutely. Um, as a matter of fact, we're in um, development of our first feature film called The Restorer. Um, and I started writing, the Lord gave me my very first script to write in 2003 uh, called The Billionaire's Son. And it's uh, loosely based on the prodigal son. Um, but when he gave it to me, I'm like, well, I've never written anything before. All I could do is go back and look at the scripts that I auditioned for and started that process. So through that process, um, we have a, you know, a feature film now that I originally wrote in 07 called The Restore. It's a supernatural action adventure film um, based on what's going on right now. Uh, it has political overtones with it as well. You know, uh, I, I've often said, and I've heard it said before, God doesn't always call the equip, but he does equip who he calls. And uh, a lot of times we think, well, I, I don't, I've never done this before, but God says, just go ahead and, and listen to what I have for you and I'll equip you along the way. And it's amazing when you give it to God, what he could do with, uh, do with our talents uh, and, and our experience, isn't it? Right, absolutely. Uh, if we're willing to step out of the boat, um, then God provides. So I've learned that over time to just trust him and do what he tells me to do and then watch him move because he brought in people, you know, hey, well, this is the program you need to use, final draft, and, you know, this is how long the script normally needs to be. And, you know, so I decided from the very beginning that I wanted to write good stories and tell good stories. Christian, the stuff that you see now is this very predictable, very safe, always drama. Maybe we move into a little bit of romance. Look, and I don't know about you, but I like action adventure. When it's action adventure, action and adventure. It doesn't have to be the old West to be the action and adventure. Um, I like comedy. Um, I like, you know, Carol Burnett. I like In Living Color. I like these things because they're creatively funny. It seems that nowadays we just, we just don't have that. We've really gotten so safe to make sure that the investors make their money back or we've gotten lazy or a combination of the two to just get these tired, drab storylines. It's like, well, look, if it's all drama, why don't you just take, put a gun in your mouth and blow your brains out and go to heaven right now? If that's all you have in your life is a bunch of drama, 
it is so tiresome to see a lot of these Christian films. It's like watching a Hallmark movie over and over and over again. They're very, it's, it's very stagnant and the originality is just kind of died off in this genre, but we're looking to bring that back. Good. Well, it's good to, good to hear different people in the industry that has different things to bring to it to give that variety it's needed so that folks have choices that's the that's important to be able to have that and we shouldn't get stuck into one one area because god tells us to sing a new song and uh this the song is uh new for each generation too so, right so well i'm going to go ahead and post down below some of the things you're doing now your your connections your websites and such and folks can keep an eye on what you've done and what you're about to release and keep an eye on the future, what you're doing. And more important than anything else, and I say this often with my guests, when you when they see your name and they see you in, in, in a production or connected to a project, I want everyone to lift him up in prayer that Ted would continue to be used by God to be a light in the darkness where he's at and that uh, he would be used by, by in his industry. Amen. Amen. And thank you so much for joining me today. And thank you for, for the heart that you have for, uh, for spreading the gospel in using your talents and your techniques and your, your uh, expertise. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Thank you. And thank you all for joining me for some more morning moments and keep coming back.